Hey, this is Matt Clark. Last week I made a video about the evil stick and people sort of freaked out about it. I don't really know why, but anyway, um, I, a lot of people asked to see more of it, to see the packaging and to find out where it came from and where they could buy one. I don't really have all those answers, but I have some of them, but um, I know that everyone kind of was weirded out or put off by the fact I was drinking PBR, which it's kind of irritating to me since it's one of my favorite beers, but I figured for you guys I would class it up a bit. So I went to Kroger and uh, let's see, I got I got this. I got Burger, Burger beer. It retails for uh, $5.99 at your local Kroger for a 12 pack. So it's pretty good, and you can you can tell it's good because if you look right here. Uh, it has an umlaut, so that's how you know it's good. It's like the motorhead of beers. Anyway, what everyone's asking about, the evil stick that I showed in my video. Uh, I won't go too much into the weird story behind this, about how this all started, but basically a mom in Dayton, Ohio, which is where I live, bought this for her little daughter, thinking it was a princess wand, which is understandable. Uh, but as it turned out, it had this weird image on the inside of it. So anyway, everyone kept asking me about the packaging and uh, you know what the deal was with it or whatever. So I figured I'd show you guys some close-ups. This is real. It's on Snopes right now where apparently people think it's uh, it might be a fake, but it's real. I went to a dollar store on Linden Avenue in Dayton, Ohio, the day after I saw the story on the local news here um, because I like weird shit. So I went and uh, bought one. It was a dollar. But the weird thing was I went and I rifled through all the stuff on the shelf um, and they all had these, these foil coverings on them, this mirror. So I thought, well, they all have the girl on them, but then I noticed I took one off and they all had different images on them. So some of them, the majority of them had like, uh, I guess what I would call like crappy Resident Evil concept art, like weird uh, zombie monsters or something in the centers of them. A couple of them had actual anime characters in them, which would make sense. And then after going through like two racks of them, I found one that had the, uh, the girl, which I'll show you. If I take this off, there it is. The girl photoshopped cutting herself for some bizarre reason. So then, it, you know. So, it's, uh, it's pretty disturbing. But that's why I bought it, because to be honest, I think it's funny. But anyway, the packaging that it came on, which is right here, as you can see, uh, it says Evil Stick at the top of it. It has an anime character on it, which other people have told me is Card Captor Sakura, which, frankly, I don't watch a lot of anime or read a lot of manga, so to be honest, I didn't really know that. But uh, it's like a, a child's anime series character. Again, that kind of goes with the Princess Wand, not so much a girl slicing her arm open. But anyway, uh, down here in the corner, it says, I can send out the luster of the beauty. I don't know what that means. And up here it says, I can send out wonderful music. Which if you remember, uh, not, not really. One of the other things that people ask me over and over again is where they can get one. I don't really know to be honest with you. And I spent a bunch of time on the internet today trying to find out where this thing came from. I know it came from China, which isn't a huge surprise, but it also says made in China, with a little number down in the corner. Um, but there's a UPC code also, and I tried looking that up online, nothing. It just comes up as an unidentified UPC code. And the back, which people kept asking me about, has absolutely nothing on it. Also, a bunch of people have asked me if I will go and buy them an evil stick or find one for them or anything. The thing is, is uh, probably not, <laughs> to be honest. 
But beyond that, um, I don't think there are any more. Because when I went to the store that day, this was the only one that had this picture. All the rest of them, like I said, were weird zombie pictures or anime characters or things like that. This is the only other one I could find besides the mom in Dayton that, that found this accidentally. So, I don't know. Um, the only other thing I can think of, I guess, if enough people really want to like find out what the story is behind this thing or where it came from, uh, I guess like and comment and let me know uh, that you still are weirdly fascinated by this thing, which I guess I kind of am too. But let me know and I guess I could go back over to the dollar store on Linden and try to find the owner and ask him where he got it from. I'm assuming he bought it in bulk from China or from some other kind of like warehousing service. So, so there's no real indication where this thing came from, but, um, yeah, that's the, that's the evil stick. So for anyone that was wondering, that's pretty much all I know about it. I don't know where it came from. I don't know why it's like this, but it just is. So I guess that's the way things are in life sometimes. So cheers. Oh, that's terrible.